Hi Sky, this is the video tutorial for set up the ERP NEC in the Ubuntu uh, 18.04. Okay, so I, I am doing this um, tutorial based on the ERP NEC version 12.7.1. Uh, uh, this this one I uh, set up and uh, I prepare on the 6 May uh, 2020. Okay, the first version is the version 12.5.1. Uh, you need to have the Ubuntu uh, 18.04 server virtual machine first. Uh, I myself I use Digital Ocean Service. Okay, and then you need to have for set up password and then after you install Python, you need to uh, to restart the machine. Okay, so you need to have for set up password that is the Linux. Uh, root password because once you uh, support you using the digital ocean and uh, they're gonna force you to change the password immediately when when you log in for the first time uh, and then you need to prepare my SQL root password and then the default admin password okay and uh, once you have the the user uh, at first you you have the admin uh, so you log in as the admin and you just create the, the user and then you use that user. Uh, okay, so at this moment I prepare uh, the the I prepare the the files. Okay, already. Yeah. Uh, so let's I check my file. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay. So I go to the uh, the ERP next. Uh, okay. So this one is I gonna give you the link. Uh, I get the step in in this link. Uh, the speed descent. Uh, okay. So the topic name install ERP next on Ubuntu 18.04 server. Okay. So this one is the step I get. Okay. So I come for uh, I go to my digital ocean and then log into the console. Now, when when I log in, I have first uh, the first time I use the password from the email they sent to me. Uh, and then I they're gonna force me to uh, they're gonna force me to change the password okay so I use the password uh, okay and they have the current password okay so this one I, I copy from from the clipboard uh, okay and then I have the password that I prepare okay and then I need to put two times Okay, so when you have this this one already, so you didn't need to do anything. I gonna use the terminal, okay, and then I just use the terminal and then log in using the the password I just do. Okay, so when I do, I the digital should give me the IP before. Okay, so I gonna put in here and then set minus l root. Okay, uh, oh, okay, this one I I try second time and then I change. Uh, I think I changed the the changed the machine already. Uh, okay, so I need to uh, remove the known host. Okay, here we are. Okay, and then I try to log in again. Okay, set yes, and then I go to the Linux uh, the password in here. Okay, and then I log in. Okay, so at this moment, once you log in already, you go to the the website uh, in here. Uh, and then I go to the website and then I update first. Uh, so maybe I do the update and upgrade in separated command. Okay. So once you you do the command, okay, uh, in the when when you install the 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 ERP next you need to wait for a long time uh, maybe you can click some some button on on the keyboard to keep activate your your uh, your your keyboard uh, like, like, like me uh, like this one okay I keep activate the keyboard uh, okay because if you doing the process and then you wait for a long time maybe the terminal gonna kick you out uh, okay so I upgrade here we are Okay, so once we have, uh, once we we uh, finished doing the upgrade already, uh, so the 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 next step is mean we try to check whether the Python is installed already or not. Uh, okay, so I set the Python. Hmm. Okay, they, they, they didn't have. Uh, okay, so we just follow the step. 
uh, install the Python minimal in here. Hmm. Okay, and then I recommend, uh, even though they, they didn't they didn't tell you in the the the, the web, uh, so I just restart one time first. Uh, okay, so uh, I just keep the restart the server already and so this one support to uh, the console they're gonna show now the digital ocean they show the console okay so here they come already but i will not use the console anyway now so i go back to this uh here now and then use the password i generate Okay, so next step we have to download the script. Okay, once we download the script, you can install whether it is a developer or the production. I, have, I always use the production. However, even though you said production at this moment, it's still version number 12 anyway. So I can uh, set up my own server when I have the version number 13. So at this moment, when we use this command, it's still, still version number uh, 12.7. Okay, um, here. Ah, oh, okay, I need to issue the command export lc all equal to c dot utf dash it. Okay, so we just install. Okay, and then they're gonna keep set up. So this one is, uh, you need to wait for a while. Now uh, you you need to wait, and then you need to input the MySQL root password and then the uh, admin default admin user for the system. So at this moment, I told you that uh, you can you can keep uh, maybe touching the keyboard to make sure that the the, uh, the the terminal will not kick you out because of the timeout. Okay, so at this moment they ask you to put the MySQL uh, root password. Okay, so you go to the password you prepare, and then you input. Now you need to put two times. Hmm. And then the next one is the default admin password. Okay, and then you need to put two times too. Okay, so after they, they do this one, they're gonna keep uh, putting the stuff in the password okay so you keep waiting now you need to wait until they finish install and then you start bench and that's it uh -huh. so you you can run uh -huh. so at this moment you need to wait uh, a little bit long Okay, at this moment the bench, uh, they we successful install already. Yeah. So before I before I can continue, I want to restart one more time. Okay, once we restart, we go back and okay, this one now we 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 go back and then we gonna uh, become the frappe user and then we gonna start the bench.
Okay, and then we just issue the command bench start. Okay, after bin start, we wait uh, uh, a little bit, uh, and then we're gonna use the user administrator and then the password the moment ago you do, okay, in, in the default admin password. Okay, even though they, they said that the uh, uh, login email address, but we can just use the administrator. However, we're going to use administrator only for create uh, the first user. And then once we have the first user already, we're going to always use the first user to create it. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, so we, we have our, our EIP next server already. So let's start. Uh, I'm gonna set up my country. Okay, here we are. Okay, and then my name. The <coughs> the your email. Now uh, it, it's gonna be your login. Uh, and then your first user password. So this one is yes. After you have the first user, and then you set up. In this one, the first user is going to be like everything, you know, I mean, you just forget about the administrator. And then you select the domain. I, have, I myself, I use the manufacturing domain. I have, so I, I, I don't know if I have time, I may have their ERP next uh, YouTube in another, another domain. But I myself, I familiar with manufacturing. Okay, so I just put my school name. Okay, uh, this one, sell and build toy. Uh, the bank name is UOB. And then the start date for the fiscal year starting the 1st of April and then end in the 31st of March. Okay, and that's it. I said compare and then let's wait until they do the back process. Okay, I think we have it already. Uh -huh. So when you start, uh, when you start working, you gonna be your login. Uh -huh. So you can just keep, you can try log out, and then you log in again by using the the your uh, your email. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you can see in the user list now for the first uh, people user and then list. Okay, so this one they if you see the first user they're gonna have every right and admin right. I think you is this a good opportunity for you to create the limited uh, user. Okay, so I think this one is good enough for. Uh, today, okay. okay. So this one is that's on uh, you need for setting up the Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, thank you, and see you again next video. Bye bye.